Okay, everybody, we are back up on Capitol Hill. As you can see, this is a hill. So we are going pretty slow on the scooter. The scooter is trying to manage the uphill part of Capitol Hill. And it's doing well. You know, it's better than better than riding a bike or or walking. You just kind of ride the scooter and enjoy the ride, albeit slow. Anyway, we're back up on the hill and uh, there's the Capitol building, everyone. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here. It's Thursday. So I thought I'd come up and hang out on the hill for a while and see what might be going on over here. Something exciting or maybe not exciting or something nice maybe celebrities or whatever so we'll see what's going on up on the hill all right we're back up on the hill everybody Capitol Hill this is of course the the uh, the east side of uh, the Capitol building straight ahead is East Capitol Street and we'll go to the Supreme Court to see what's going on at the Supreme Court today Last I checked in the news, the Supreme Court was hearing, was uh, talking about repealing the Affirmative Action uh, Law uh, brought up by, brought up by Harvard University and the University of North Carolina. But that was a few days ago, I'm not sure about now, if there are any protesters going on, but I think I've, they've already decided on that. Anyway, let's go up to the Supreme Court everybody. There's the Supreme Court. All right, we're back up on the hill. It's a nice, beautiful day. Nice and sunny. Getting a little warm. So I might want to take my jacket off a little later. Also getting a little bit hungry. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll go off to Union Station and I don't know what time it is. It's, uh, well, it's 12.30, almost lunchtime. So maybe I'll... Uh, I'll go on off to Union Station and have some lunch. There's a couple of places there I like to have lunch at. The Sbarro for some spaghetti and meatballs. There's a Shake Shack there for some burgers. There's a food court down on the uh, bottom level, but I don't know how to get my scooter down there. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, my latest creation. This is something I made that was, uh, I call it chrome. It's a chrome finish. It's a chrome inside finish and then I topped it off with a translucent candy red. And I brought it here on Capitol Hill for the photo shoot. Isn't that cool? Hail to the Redskins.
Okay, I guess we'll go to Union Station. There goes the guy dressed up like Trump. Doing something. I wonder if he knows Trump isn't president anymore. I wonder if he knows Trump isn't president anymore. Huh? I don't know, man. Anyway, we are just uh, over here by, by Capitol Hill. On our way to Union Station to have lunch. Maybe at the food court. I kind of feel like Sparrow Spaghetti, so let's have some Sparrow Spaghetti, shall we? This is the Russell SOB. Now, SOB in this case means the Senate Office Building. This is where the Senators have their administrative offices. They only meet on Capitol Hill to adjourn, but their main offices, their administrative offices are here at the Russell SOB. Senate office building. This is uh, Union Station, everybody. Venerable and uh, beautiful Union Station. This fountain in the front here, this used to be a working fountain up until about the 1950s when they decided to just uh, close it off. And now it's just basically a sculpture. Not a fountain anymore, but I bet they can start it up again if they wanted to. Anyway, let's go around uh, to the front of Union Station, everybody. Here's the fountain, here's Union Station. Uh, can't go up these steps, so we'll have to go around to the front of Union Station. Hopefully there'll be some, uh, a ramp up there we can, we can go and uh, that way we don't have to walk up the steps. Yes, see, it's the ramp. So now, let's go around this way. Hope I don't fall. Oh, grates. Oh no, grates. Oh, that's the uh, grates for the metro underneath. There's a metro station right underneath. All right, here's Union Station. Let's go right through the front. Or maybe to the side. Can we go to the side? Uh, maybe we can go to the side. Here we go. We open the door. This is not one of those automated doors that you can open. Anyway, welcome to Union Station, everybody. This is the main hall of Union Station. As you can see. The main hall, baby! The gold inlays in each of one of those uh, octagonal parts is like 24 karat gold inlays. In there. Here's that Shake Shack I was talking about. Looks like there's a lot of people. I don't want to eat there then. Maybe I'll go down to the Sparrow to eat some spaghetti. Okay, let's go down to the Sparrow, which is just right over here. There's also a food court right underneath in the bottom level where the trains are. But anyway, welcome to the main hall, everybody. The main hall, baby. This is the main hall. Not Daryl Hall. It's not uh, Rich Hall. The main hall. Okay, this is where the train... See, there's the food court down there, as you can see. There is the food court. If I could find my way down there with my scooter, I'd go down there, but... but I don't, but I kind of feel like Sparrow right now. Let's go get some Sparrow. And, uh... Have some lunch. Okay, so I decided to eat here at the... Sparrow at Union Station. I love their spaghetti here. It's pretty good spaghetti. That's a tomorrow. And okay. Hang on. I'm strong. Please check your travel document for your reserved car. I love to do. Thank you for choosing Amtrak. And my garlic bread. I'm glad they gave me garlic bread this time. That time they didn't give me any garlic bread. 
Bon Petit Okay, well, uh, I just had lunch, so now we're kind of just exploring Union Station. This is the uh, this is the train level. This is where all the trains are. See, the waiting areas, and, and when your train gets called, you go through those doors and you uh, board your train. This is called the Claytor Concourse, named after. This guy, W. Graham Plater Jr. I'm gonna have to Google that one of these days. But anyway, let's go down here to the. Uh, let's go down here to this area here. I don't think I've ever been to this area. Well, I've been to this area. I just don't I haven't been here in a long time. I think there's a nice little shop here where you can buy. Uh, like political memorabilia see that see this is where the trains are this is where you wait for your trains this is where you buy tickets let's go check it out oh man this is where you used to be able to buy like political memorabilia and t-shirts and stuff they had a little replica podium like uh, at the White House. You could post for pictures there, but but it's gone now. Hmm. Place called America. Well, another victim of the pandemic. Oh well, I wanted to go there. I think there's another place similar upstairs, but I don't want to go upstairs. Not with my scooter. Huh. There's a Uniqlo here. See that? See, there's that other store that I am talking about, but I don't want to take my scooter up there. There's a Uniqlo here. Look at this. Uniqlo is a Japanese clothing store, and they've been popping up a lot here in America. They got uh, Uniqlo's in, in the West Coast, here in the East Coast. Yeah, Uniqlo. I don't know, a lot of people like their clothes somehow. I don't see anything really special with them. They're like, you know, clothes from the Gap. See? I don't really see anything special with the Uniqlo clothes. They're, just, they're like the Gap. Anyway, let's go out the main hall over here. and Let's get back out to the main hall, baby. Here it is, baby. The main hall, baby! The main hall! The main hall, baby! The main hall! Look at this! Main hall. There used to be a lot more kiosks over here at the main hall. There used to be a nice kiosk over there that sold a lot of uh, nice uh, souvenirs and trinkets. They're not there anymore. Metro is that way. There's the East Hall with a few shops over here. That's about it. So here we are right in the center of the main hall. Let's go into the East Hall. There used to be a bunch of shops in here. Now there's just this one little shop right in the center. Oh. That's all they got in here. That used to be a restaurant called the Thunder Grill. Now it's nothing. Oh wow, really nothing here, but this is a nice hall. There's a little kiosk that sells like little trinkets and stuff, but that's about pretty much it. Let's go back out the main hall. And uh, here's the main hall, everybody. They have a few exhibits here. This is the burlap sack that contained 80 pounds of dry plaster powder. I guess this is what they use to carry the powder, the 
<clears throat> the uh, plaster for the walls. I don't know what this is. This is uh, <clears throat> the original square. Oh, the original square with the uh, gold inlay was here. Looks like somebody smashed in the uh, glass over here on the left side. This is gold. I, this is 24 karat gold inlay. It used to be where those uh, diagonal gold horses are. Hmm. Here's some more exhibits. Oh, you can't see with all the glare. Oh, man. That's too bad. Anyway, that's a bucket that was used in the construction in 1908. Can you see that? And this is the fragment of the egg and dart molding, the original molding from the original building, uh, the original ceiling. And here's another uh, unrestored ventilation diffuser from the old ceiling. Hmm. And here's the restored version. Look at, look at that, look at the difference. Unrestored, restored. See? Unrestored, restored. Okay, I guess uh, let's go. We're leaving Union Station. Leaving Union Station behind and uh, going back to where we need to go, which is somewhere over here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Coming through this way. Capitol Hill is right up ahead. Here's the Liberty Bell. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. This one is stairs. We don't want to go stairs. Let's just go around to where there are no stairs. Somewhere around here. Around towards. But you can see Union Station over here. Bathed in the sun, as you can see. As we go around trying to find the ramp that goes downstairs. Here's the uh, subway grate. The Union Station Metro subway runs right directly underneath. So that's, that's what that's for, the subway grate. All right, well, here's the ramp. That way we don't need to take the stairs. We just Take the ramp down to uh, back on down to the hill. Where are we going though? I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I'm just going back to uh, the Lincoln Memorial and somewhere as we go ahead and leave Union Station. All right, let's go down this way. See if we can find our way down this way. It's like they've closed the street over there for some reason. I don't know why they have. You don't really need to uh, roll on the throttle down here because it's downhill as you can see. Earlier we were going up this way going uphill but now we're going downhill. Downhill on Capitol Hill. All right now we're on the bottom well somewhat the bottom of the hill because it's getting a little more level here. As we leave the Capitol Hill area back down to Pennsylvania Avenue. And I do not know where I'm going to go. Maybe back to the Lincoln Memorial. This is the parking lot here on the uh, uh, the west side of the Capitol building. Which during the pandemic was, uh, you could park here and not, uh, you know, receive any kind of penalty or anything. Well, maybe instead of Pennsylvania Avenue, I'll go down uh, Constitution Avenue. Right? I think that'll be better. I'm just glad it's not raining. It's a beautiful day, actually. It's getting kind of warm. It's getting to be about 75 degrees now. But when I move forward, there's a nice breeze that keeps me cool in this uh, warm sun. Here again on my left is the uh, Air and Space Museum. Ow. And uh, on my right, that's the Museum of Natural History. As we get closer and closer to the Lincoln 
Memorial. Okay, I'm here at Federal Triangle. I'm trying to figure out a way to, because there's a bus that goes to here. Some alternate way to get to work, but I don't think it's gonna work because it's still a little too far. I mean, I'm still gonna have to go to Federal Triangle. I'm still gonna have to take the Metro to, uh, you know, to Farragut and to, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, there you go. This kind of reminds me of uh, London, doesn't it? Look at this. Yeah, kinda. This leads right to Federal Triangle in that, uh, in that little open courtyard between the Reagan building and the Wilson building. But this is the, uh, oh, we got a fence. We got a fence. I think we go around the fence. Some construction going on here by the metro station. Uh, okay. Okay, no fence here. All right, so this is uh, Woodrow Wilson Plaza here in between the Reagan building and the Wilson building. We've been here before. This is a popular place to hang out and have lunch. There's a food court down on the bottom level of the Reagan building, but the problem is you have to go through security. Problem is to go through the building, you have to go through like airport tile style security and I don't really want to do that. Here at the Reagan building. So maybe I'll just uh, I'll just head on down to the White House, see what's going on down there.